Okay, so finally, what we're going to do here is put some power film around the edges of these petri dishes um, that are filled with the nutrient agar. Um, this is going to be to keep out any kind of contaminants. Um, you know, when you, if you put them in the refrigerator or as they're just laying around, um, anything can just kind of crawl up there. If there's any kind of airflow, it, there's a chance that the agar will get contaminated and they'll be really not any good for for uh, what I'm using them for it in any case, which is to uh, isolate strains of mushroom. So right here what I have is power film. Uh, I take a piece of power film and what you need to do is just stretch it out a little bit here. Otherwise it won't stick. You stretch it out each little bit there. Just like that. Sometimes it takes some practice to do this correctly. Sometimes it'll just break up on you. And then what you, you want to pop it on the edge right around that, that gap and pull it all the way around the dish two times. A one time you would think would be enough, but it, it's not. It one time will still allow, it's still a little bit porous, so it'll allow things to get in there. Um, so two times and it'll keep it sterile. And you can just pop it, pull it tight and swing it in. And that's one. You can see that it's nice and tight. Um, now, as you know that I just finished with these dishes, pouring the agar into them. So, in in order to find out, <laughs> excuse me, whether or not these are completely sterile, uh, what I'm going to do is wait. I'm going to leave them out of the refrigerator for a few days. Um, probably about three days and after about three days if there's anything inside them any kind of mold or bacteria or anything like that it'll start growing by then and I'll know to just throw out the ones that are bad and keep the ones that have no growth in them uh, most likely uh, I, I don't think that I'll have any contaminated dishes but there's always that chance so um, it's better to find out before you, you know, decide to transfer any mycelium or, or use them for any other purpose, you know, whether or not they are contaminated. Um, but, and there's another one right there. Uh, I'll do it one more time and that's it. Let me see, pull about that much. Stretch it out. So, it's pretty long. This will probably get me around three times. But that's okay. This takes some practice. But, it doesn't take too long to get the hang of it. I mean, this is really only my third time ever doing this. And that's it. There's another one. Fully done. Alright. Thanks for watching.